Hey everyone, it is Wednesday, January 11th. The time is 4 p.m. and the temperature is minus one degree Celsius. And I'm here on Viewpoint Avenue and there's a look to the south towards Eglinton West Subway Station. And this would be the Allen Road on either side of the subway corridor there. And that's a look to the west towards Marley Avenue. And there is the southern entrance to Glen Cairn Station. And I think this is one of the oddest subway stations in the TTC subway network. And for this one, we'll be going for a walk through the station. I don't think I've ever featured it before on this channel. And then I think I'll hop on a northbound train and take that up to Lawrence West Station. And there's a look to the east. And this is the Glen Park neighborhood. And it's a mostly low density residential neighborhood, which makes the presence of this subway station quite intriguing. Thank you. And I guess once upon a time there was a collector booth here. What a dummy, I pulled out my laundry card. Where is my Presto card? There it is. I have a free transfer until 5.08. The station is currently not accessible, but it's currently being renovated and it looks like by summer 2024 there should be elevator access. And the station opened back in 1978. And this is in the former borough of North York. And it opened as part of a subway expansion from St. George up to Wilson Station. And this skylight is a recent addition to the station. It replaces the original skylight that was removed in the early 90s due to water damage. Designed by an artist, Rita Latandra, who designed the original skylight. That was a part of the station when it opened back in 1978. And it was taken out in the early 90s and put back in just a few years ago in 2020. And I think it came to a cost of $11 million. So this is the south end of the station. And these stairs will lead right back up to where I started recording this. There's a southbound train rolling in. Danger, do not enter. You would think that would be common sense. And according to 2018 stats, this was ranked 66 out of 75 stations in terms of passengers per day, averaging just under 7,000.
And I wonder if they'll be making the south side of the station accessible, or if the elevator will just be going in on the north end. They're running a high frequency of trains right now. There's a look up at that decorative skylight. That does a good job of letting natural light into the station. the main entrance on Button Karen Avenue. So I'm guessing this area here on the left is where the elevator is going in. to see here. So from Eglinton Avenue to Lawrence Avenue, is a distance of about two kilometers. And this station sits between Eglinton West and Lawrence West Station. But what's interesting is on the young side, at Glencairn Avenue, there is no station. So there's a two kilometer gap between stations between Eglinton and Lawrence. But the less busy western side does have a station on Glencairn. There's a look to the north, up the Allen Road. And this is Glencairn Avenue. And again, it's a mostly low-density residential neighborhood, which makes it an odd choice for a subway station, at least in my opinion. Although the city is currently undergoing a study to evaluate future developments in the area. I think there's been a lot of interest from developers. So we might see this area start to intensify. And the Allen Road here, at least this stretch south of Lawrence, opened up in 1976, just two years before the subway station opened up. So this used to be all residential, and a lot of these streets had their links from one side to the other severed by the addition of the Allen Expressway. And this was originally supposed to go south, all the way through downtown. gone right alongside Casaloma and down through Chinatown. But fortunately, it was agreed that construction would be halted south at Eglinton. So it's a very large, well-built station, serving a small community here. 
and Marley Avenue, which is just to the west of here, does have a bus. I think it's the 109 that runs between Eglinton and Lawrence West. So if this station disappeared, people in this area would still have a connection via bus to Eglinton or Lawrence. In fact, Glencairn Avenue only has one bus along it. I think it only comes about every 20 minutes or so. So of all the TTC stations, this is one of the least served by surface route connections. There it is. So it starts at Caledonia Road and then at Bathurst it heads south and then it'll take Chaplin Crescent over to Davisville Station. So I'm going to head down and hop on a northbound train and ride up to Lawrence West Station. The station itself kind of reminds me of Yorkdale Station with these arched vaulted ceilings. So there is Glencairn between Eglinton and Lawrence, but over here between Eglinton and Lawrence, there is no Glencairn station. Apparently one was proposed in the 60s. They didn't go through with it due to budgetary reasons. Line one, one gone. Please stand clear of the doors. Next All right, let's station. get Lawrence, a peek out the window here. And here we are at Lawrence West Station. Which I believe opened at the same time as Glencairn. And that's a look to the south. And I 
think in terms of the number of passengers rolling through here, the station is in the middle of the pack. It's certainly much busier than Glencairn Station. Talks of budget cuts and the TTC rolling back frequency to as slow as every 10 minutes. I think during rush hour, possibly every six minutes. And they're also going to be raising the fare 10 cents. And that would obviously have a drastic impact on the current service. Looks like this escalator here is not working. station is accessible. So that'll take you to Lawrence Avenue on the south side. I don't think I've ever been to this part of the station before. And here is Lawrence Avenue. There's the Lawrence Allen Center. And the Toys R Us at the Young Eglinton Center recently closed and there was a sign saying they had relocated to the Lawrence Allen Center. Don't see any signs indicating that's here and open yet. the main entrance to Lawrence West Station. All right, now I need a plan <laughs> to get back home to Midtown. I could take a Lawrence bus here and take one of those east to Lawrence West Station, or I could hop on the subway and take that south down to Eglinton and take the Eglinton bus over. And I guess what we'll do in a future video is come back and we'll check out the Lawrence Allen Center. There's a place to explore. Rather than stand around here, <laughs> just waiting for these lights to change, I will magically transport myself via the power of editing over to crossing the street to that side. I don't normally 
cut parts of these videos out. I'll make an exception, so I will see you in a moment here. Solid driving right here. It's interesting that Glencairn Station has entrances on the north and south side. All well, the entrances to Lawrence here are on Lawrence Avenue, or rather Lawrence West. And here's what the main entrance looks like. Elevator access. And there's where you'd grab a bus. So I guess what I'll do is I'll hop on the subway and just go south to Eglinton, and then I'll take the bus back over to Midtown. So on that note, I hope you enjoyed this one, exploring Glencairn Station, then hopping on the subway and heading up, and taking a look around Lawrence West Station. thoughts and comments down below and if you wish to support the channel there's links to my patreon and youtube channel membership in the description i have an instagram account at johnny strides and i have a tiktok account at johnny strides as well looks like the next train is coming in two minutes and there is also a super thanks button appearing below these videos all right, thank you for watching and I will catch you in the next one. Yoink.